Hello, my name is Eve Agee. This is October 2017, October 1st. I'm at the Asheville Guild Quilt Show at the, in Asheville. Uh, I am an Asheville Quilt Guild member, have loved it for many years, enjoy being there and doing the quilts. Just want to talk a little bit to you about this quilt that I have here today and just explain and talk a little bit about the fun that I had creating this quilt. The background, the basic background is batik. Uh, some of it I over dyed and over painted because I wanted a, a special color and a special location. The background area here is um, some of this is over dyed, over painted. Many, many pieces. There's about 500 pieces in this quilt that I kept count, and there's several thousand stitches. I have a sit down machine, but it does count stitches. So I do know that there's several thousand in here. A lot of the work is done with monofilament thread. A lot of it, this and these little parts of the quilt are something called bobbin work. That's a heavier thread that is wound into the bobbin of the machine and done upside down, basically. I draw my design and put my stabilizer underneath the design. Then I fill bobbins and hand wrap the bobbins because a bobbin, um, you know, you have to, these heavier threads. So I wind my bobbin and that is the only thing that you have to have patience with because this takes a lot of bobbin filling to get this done. Uh, these are also, this is number eight pearl cotton wound into the bobbin and done the same way, the bobbin work. This is a yarn called Scruffy Yarn that you can get almost anywhere because people who knit and crochet, which I'm not fortunate enough to know how to do, will use it to make scrubbers for pots and pans and things like that. I like to use it like this because it has a little bit of a shine and a little bit of a fuzz to it. It does take a while, a while to get that many white bobbins onto the quilt. The background here, the stones, were brown and yellow and gold, and I overpainted some of them. It's just, I guess the, the message to get to you the most is, take what you have, use it to do something with that you never thought you would ever use it for, and something fun and easy that you can do. This is thread painting, and that is something that I've taught for many, many years. It's a fun.